the Maritimes, where else would you rather be to kick off your Canada Day weekend? Nigel Reid in the booth alongside former Canadian international Ian Hume as we welcome you to the Wanderers grounds for week 13 of the Canadian Premier League. One change for Halifax Wanderers, by the way. In comes Wes Timoteo. Uh, we think he will uh, start at left back, although he is an attacking minded uh, midfielder given the chance. So don't be surprised if Timoteo gets forward with good effect with Massimo Ferrian just ahead of him. Thiago Coimbra leads the line for the Wanderers. What are the visitors for Jeff C? Just one change from that dramatic victory over Ottawa last time out. Into the back line comes the recall of the tall Swede, Alexander Ashenyov Jonsson, the 2022 Canadian Premier League Defender of the Year. He'll play alongside Andrejka James. Becker put it right on top of the edge of the six, brother. Becker delivers into the mixer. It goes. It was there to be one. Beats everybody out to that far side. Rama can knock it in again. Fillion didn't quite get there. It's going to be a goal kick. Fillion decides to go long this time. Enough of playing our way out of the back. And the push is again. Fillion got a push, surely for Rama. Again, no whistle. Another one, Farron going down, looked relatively easy, but the ref can't be in a better position there. Ronaldo to that far side, Farron into the penalty area, has a go to the deflection. Tristan Borges here, wearing 19. Looking left, and the backs. Farron away again here. Takes the shot, and the me. That's how you finish the passes. forward, a little short, Kane was in, Becker may have a little room here, this could be dangerous, there is certainly room on that uh, far side, Perseus wants it, Borges has got it, goes to go, forces the corner from Fillion, that's better from Tristan Borges, that's a lot better from Tristan Borges, but that little break of play there, Kane finds Kyle Becker in that hole, he breaks on, to Mateo, now on a yellow card, he'll have to be on his best behavior for the next uh, hour or so. Campbell, back up, left footed. Not his best, he can do better than that, he knows it. Yeah, it's a bit better though. For Coimbra, Geraldo tracks back, continues to do so. Pasillas trying to curl one. See what he was trying to do, but it was well wide. Yeah, it's a good, good bit of work from Ashnodi Jansen. He's looking to get the ball there. Geraldo's tried to nudge. I'm pretty sure there's one guy in there who defense defenders union won't be saying that's a penalty. <laughs> Fair in, looking for the angle. Oh, well, he, his eyes lit up for a moment. He was going for top corner. But uh, couldn't keep it down, just leant back as he hit it. James Borges now operating on the right-hand side. Ahead of Pasillas, in behind perhaps. Oh, it's in the end. Jason and Fillion got that really smartly. And the ball was almost across his goal line. And that's the first time that he's really been tested. And he was equal to the task. They lost four of their previous five before beating Ottawa 4-3 last week. Duncan hit his own man again, breaks for Borges. And Becker, what a goal! Saw it coming, his eyes lit up, and left-footed, sweet as a nut, into the corner. 
Fillion could do nothing about that. And with two minutes to go, it's all square in Halifax. Wanderers won, Forge won. When they met in April, it also ended in a 1 1 draw. And that was a late equaliser for Forge by Pasias, who's no longer on the field. Ferrin, just for a moment. And then Ferrazzo. Riley Ferrazzo called his own number, and he wasn't that far wide. I thought it took a deflection, but. It's a decent effort. Farron finds him. Good first touch. Clears his feet. Watson slipped. And Borges could be away. Poku didn't react quickly enough. Hamilton chests it forward. Poku. Hamilton. Hamilton. <laughs> Get the ball forward. Well, Draco James is doing just that. Jordan Hamilton did really well to pull it out of the sky. Now he can he get a shot away. Here's Pedbacker again. I bet there are a few hearts and mouths behind that goal, Ian. Caligari. Forward he goes. Oh, maybe, just maybe, that's got to be a penalty. Surely it's a penalty. Rippy points to a penalty spot with 10 seconds to go. It's a clear penalty, surely. And Becca and Henry lead the protest. But it's a penalty for Halifax with virtually the last kick of the game. Goodness me, Ian Hume. What drama in Halifax. There'll be plenty of discussion after this one. Can Henry deny Ian Mimic the winning goal? Mimic for Halifax in the corner. Wins it for the Wanderers. Dramatic style. Halifax Wanderers have uh, beaten Forge. Mimix celebrates with his teammates. Ferrin scored a wonderful goal midway through the first half. Kyle Becker replied from long range with two minutes to go. But a dramatic stoppage time penalty from Dan Nimick has claimed all three points for Halifax Wanderers.